Now in this next part of the question, we're told that uh, about scheme two, that uh, we've got a salary in year one is P plus £1,800 and it increases by T pounds each year forming an arithmetic sequence. And for this 10 year period, the total earned is the same for both schemes. So we need to find the value of T. And we've already seen that in scheme one, the total earned was 10p plus 90t pounds. Okay, so to do this, what we've got to look then is at scheme two. So we'll just put that as a subtitle, scheme two. And if we look at the total for 10 years, just write that in, total for 10 years. What's it going to equal? Well, the first term is P plus 1,800. Just put that in there, P plus 1,800. Then it goes up by T pounds each year. So the next year, it's going to be P plus 1,800 plus T more pounds. And in the next year, it's going to be P plus 1,800 plus 2T and so on. And it's going to carry on like this until we get up to the last term, the amount in the 10th year. And that amount in the 10th year is going to be P plus 1,800 plus 9T. Now I know it's 9t because you can just see that in the second year it's 1t, in the third year it would be 2t and so on. So in the 10th year it's always going to be one less than the year that you're on, so 9t there. Right, okay, we need to find out what this is going to come to. Well, remember for a, an arithmetic series, that the sum of the first n terms, Sn, is given by n over 2 multiplied by the first term, A, plus the last term, L. It's this formula that I'm going to use. So I know that this then is going to equal S10. So n is 10, so we've got 10 divided by 2 all multiplied by the first term, which is P plus 1,800, and then plus the last term, which we've just now worked out as P plus 1,800 plus 90. So if we simplify this, we've got 10 divided by 2, which is 5, and then we've got P plus P, which is 2P, and then 1,800 plus another 1,800 is going to be 3,600. And then we've got plus 9t. Okay, so that's our total for 10 years under scheme two. Now we know that the totals are equal for scheme one and scheme two. So we'll put therefore, since the totals are equal. All right, what's that going to imply? Well, it's going to mean that 10p plus 90t has got to equal what we've just worked out now, which is this one here. I'm going to expand this though. We'll expand it and we'll get 5 times 2p, which is 10p, and then we've got 5 times 3600, which is 18,000. So 18,000 and 5 times 9t is going to be plus 45t. Okay, so just a question now of rearranging this to work out the value of t. And we're very lucky here because if we take 10p away from both sides, can you see that they're going to cancel out, just give us zero. So if we were to take now 45t from both sides, we've got 90t then take 45t and we're therefore going to have 45t. And that's going to leave us on this side with 18,000. So if we divide both sides by 45, t turns out to be exactly 400. All right?